Hi, I'm Susan. And I, I, I sometimes worry that I'm too simple. I love your simplicity. <laughs> it is so refreshing. You know, it's very interesting because I think sometimes we have the idea that simple equals unintelligent. Yeah. And uh, tell us what you do for a living. <laughs> I'm a vice president at one of the largest financial institutes in the world. And uh, haven't you had different <laughs> leadership positions like cyber crime and, you know? Yeah, yep. yeah. And I, yeah. So they don't put a person who is. lacks intelligence, intelligence. in that position. I sometimes feel as if your simplicity allows you to actually see what is rather than get all convoluted into a massive thought process. Mm. And it's one of the things, I've known you for years, and it's uh, one of the things that has always been so refreshing about you, that Susan. That we wow. admire and respect about you is your simplicity. Wow. My, my thoughts yes. are so it, that it's less than. That's what I think see, of. Okay, be, so, so let's start here. Before okay. you realized that you were a simple person, mm -hmm. probably because we talked about it, you thought you were less yeah. before you had the idea of the word simple. Mm-hmm. Yes? Yes. So, but you see, I wouldn't be surprised if your sisters consider themselves to be simple people, too. Yeah. And your parents, yeah. even though your father was a high-paid lawyer, mm -hmm. he considers himself to be a simple man. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. So why would you think that you should be complex? <laughs> yeah. You know? That's so true. The acorn does not fall far from the oak tree. <laughs> it sometimes falls very far from the holly tree. <laughs> or a bush. Or the maple, you know? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> That's, that's relieving. Yeah, that's well, you funny. see, look, how could you not be perfect? Mm. You know, what standards are you pitching yourself against to find yourself less? Well, mm. Shai and I have a relatively new friend who likes to jump out of airplanes in a squirrel suit and f and and soar fly. and fly until he gets, you know, close enough to the ground and he pulls a chute mm -hmm. and he tends to pull it close enough to the ground that it's a pretty hard landing. Mm -hmm. And it's a passion of his. He's done mm -hmm. it thousands of times. And I can enjoy his passion without having to jump out of an, jump airplane. Out of an airplane or wish it was me. Mm -hmm. So I can admire the way different people's minds work. And, and sometimes even borrow their perspective, mm -hmm. but comparison is a whole other step, one mm -hmm. where you're either above or below. Mm -hmm. And we do that because that's what the minds do and that's change. Okay. But in reality, if you had everybody who was like you, you'd probably be bored to tears. <laughs> yes. So the diversity yeah. of the people around you and how they see and what they see, you've actually even mentioned it, that sometimes when you, uh, people come visit you in Brooklyn and you walk down the street with somebody, they see things totally differently than things you've seen on your own street. Yeah. And you sometimes, in concert with them, see things differently. Mm without them saying anything. So, yeah. Party Thanks. on, do debt. <laughs> Will do. Thank you. You hoovered that right out of Did my Did I? <laughs> See?